I began, I guess, in science uh, on a research post in a transplantation laboratory in London, uh, something over 20 years ago now, and then uh, was lucky enough to get a chief biomedical scientist position at Dereford Hospital in Plymouth. Um, and from there, ran the laboratory until about 2009, 2010. HSST came along at just the right time for me because I was looking for a professional doctorate. And uh, just as I started looking, uh, HSST, in effect, was being invented and, and rolled out. Um, and the two came together very, very well. It was designed uh, specifically for people my, like myself. Um, obviously, I need to do the equivalence as a clinical scientist qualification, which I did just before the start uh, of HSST. Uh, but it was designed then to take those individuals right through the, the training you need to get to a consultant clinical scientist post. So it was, it was perfectly there and obviously came out with a professional doctorate at the end of it. It's commitment, um, nothing but commitment. It's, it's a very, very hard course uh, because you are still doing your, your current role at the same time. Um, I think in, in hindsight, you sort of spend half your time wishing you never started and half your time really grateful that you, you have because of the things you gain from, from being on the course. Um, it is hard, it's very, very rewarding, I will say that, uh, and it is well worth it. But you've really got to think, this is what I want to do for the next five years, this is where I want to go, and really put everything into it. We learn a lot about social sciences, we learn a lot about leadership, a lot about management, and we begin to learn a lot about ourselves in terms of professional de development and looking at how we interact with, with, with our colleagues and how our other colleagues think. And so I think ab above, you know, now we've started, I'd like to, to gain more, to, to, be a, to be a better leader, a better person, to understand the NHS more and, and how we interact with it. Um, you know, I'd like to be more than just a, a head of a lab, but actually part of, of what the hospital's doing. It is very, very hard to do um, both HSST and, and a full-time job. And I think it's probably fair to say that most hospitals are, are probably unable to release, release students as much as the students would like to be able to work within, within working times. And so it is difficult. There is, you, know, you, you do have to commit time outside work. You have to commit time uh, at weekends to do it. Um, as we move towards the, the research projects and things, I think you'd be able to bring that more into the workplace and your routine life because that's part of what we're doing. Career-wise, I think it's, it's quite exciting. I mean, obviously, I hope to get a, a consultant clinical scientist post at the end of this, um, hopefully in, in the hospital where I currently am. Um, the nice thing is that we're already thinking about how, how this affects patients. You know, how does the... Uh, the research that we can do uh, change patient benefit. We work in a transplantation laboratory and I think already there are a number of patients that have been transplanted in Plymouth really as a result of, of thinking differently on this course and uh, thinking outside the box a little bit more and what more can we do for patients. Completion of, of HSST, um, professional doctorate and then Royal College of Exams uh, part two, finish all those. Um, hopefully a uh, director of, of the laboratory at the end of that. Um, probably slightly shorter than that. I look forward to a holiday without feeling guilty. Um, and the fact that just taking some time out uh, would be really, really nice.